Hello everybody and welcome to the Vector Sector. This is Dan Grady. As you noticed from my intro, um, I have changed the channel name to the Vector Sector. Um, I've also created a Facebook page, which I'll put the link in the description bar down below so you could go there easy um, and join. I'll be doing a lot of tips and tricks and neat things over there, um, so it will definitely be worthwhile. And you'll be awesome for doing it, doing it, and uh, you'll be socially accepted for the rest of your life. Okay, m maybe not that, but you will learn a lot, and it will be lots of fun. Um, today we're going to be doing some more 3D work in Illustrator. Uh, my 3D videos are really popular. I do not know why they are, because to be honest, the 3D in Illustrator is really bad. But anything with the word 3D in it, 3D. Um, seems to be really popular and you can actually do some really cool stuff with 3D um, which is what I'll show you today how to make this delicious bottle of Nom Nom Soda so what we are going to do is if you've watched any of my other 3D videos um, I like to use the effect 3D Revolve which I talk about a couple other videos and how to use that we're going to be using that same technique today uh, we'll start with a stroke. Let me make this black so you can see it. Okay. Now, any object um, that can be revolved 360 degrees um, without changing can be made into a really awesome 3D object in Illustrator. For example, like a lamp. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if I take this, this path and move it over to my final art over here, and sorry if this render is really slow. Whenever you're using 3D in Illustrator, it's going to bog down everything. And I actually have a pretty quick computer and it, a pretty fast computer, and it still is kind of taxing on it. Um, so hopefully nothing bad will happen, like the video will freeze and I'll have to do this over again, or your computer might explode in front of your face right now. I, I don't really know what's going to happen, but it should be okay. As you can see, my path matches the edge of this 3D object. So basically, you can go around your house and take a picture of, say, a lamp. And then you could import that into Illustrator and then trace with the pen tool the edge of it and revolve that and see what you get. You'll get a lot of cool stuff. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to take that path and we're going to go, I'll make it green so it's alien and awesome. And then we'll go up to Effect, 3D, Revolve. Okay, so that's going to bring up our 3D Revolve options. Uh, you could play around with this stuff on your own time, because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I'm not going to go over it all, but I'll show you the main things we need to do. Make sure that you have Preview selected. That's going to be important, because you'll have no idea what's going on if you do not have that selected. And right now you're thinking, Wow, th that's great, Dan. You just created the world's ugliest candelabra. Um, maybe you're trying to make an ugly candelabra. I don't know. If I made this a little thicker here, it might be pretty good. And you're probably wondering why that's happening. If you look close, you will see that my path is on the right side, and it's been re revolved this way. Okay. What we want to do is we want to go to offset from the right edge instead. It's going to take a while to render, and shplop, there it is. Now I have my delicious bottle. Um, so you could go in here. Sorry, my voice is kind of like going away. I was having problems with my microphone, and i have done this video too many times, and my voice is starting to go away. Hopefully you could still understand me by the time this video is done. Uh, you can play around with this light intensity stuff yourself. Um, I think this is probably good for now. Um, but what we need to do though is we need to put that label on the soda bottle. Now only symbols can be mapped to 3D artwork. And so what I did is I already created a label. Um, let's go over this. I'll show you how to do it because if I don't, I bet I will get some comments saying you didn't show how to make the symbol. So I will do this now. I'll do it really quick so keep up with me. Okay, I'm going to hit M to bring up my rectangular tool rectangular shape tool and I'm gonna drag this out so it's about the same size as label. Now since the label is going to be mapped onto something that's 3D it's gonna be about twice as long as this. So 
I'll show you something, a, a cool trick. I'll go to Window, Transform, bring up Transform, and I'm going to go to Width. Make sure this is unlinked because I don't want width and height changing. And what I could do is I can do 70 pixels times 2. You could do math in these um, input boxes. Anywhere there's numbers, you could usually do math functions, which is really neat. You will learn that if you join my Facebook page, The Vector Sector. Just saying. Okay, so now you can see that automatically created a label that will be big enough to wrap around my object. And then you could create whatever you want for your soda name. I don't want all caps. I'm going to do nom nom again. You cannot see it because it is black like the background. I'll make it white. Okay, I'll scale that up. Holding shift so it doesn't do that. Okay, that'll work. I'll place that in the middle. I'll go to Object, Expand to expand, expand my text. Okay, now I could take this whole thing and drag it in the Symbols panel. You could name it. I'll name it Nami Nom Nami Nom. And make sure it's a graphic type. Hit OK. All right, I'll delete that because I don't need it. Okay, now I'll take my shape again, go to Effect, 3D, Revolve, Preview, and Candelabra. Let's do a bottle. Splam. Okay, go down to Map Artwork. Okay, this part can get a little tricky. What we want to do is we want to find the face that we'll be mapping the artwork. As you see up here, it says Surface. You can go through these. 2, 14, 3 of 14, and as you do so, let me go forward a little bit so you can see it. Good. Okay, it'll create a wireframe of um, showing you where that surface is, so we're not just guessing where our artwork's going. I'll cycle through this some more. Okay, so I want to place it just in the middle here. Illustrator sees this whole area here as a surface, unfortunately but that is okay. We will choose this area. We'll go to Symbol, find that label I made, nom 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 nom, and it might take a while to render. There it is down there. That will not do, so I'm going to take this, drag it up, and it should update. There we go. I'll stretch it out here. So it wraps all the way around. Okay. That is now mapped on. I'm going to rotate my object a bit so you can see the label and all of its nom nom glory. Like I said, it takes a while to render, which is making this video boring. I'm sorry, but 3D is not always exciting. Okay. And there we go. I'll hit OK. I finished my bottle. Now this one over here, I added some liquid in it by making a shape inside the bottle and giving it an opacity level, and I created a shadow so it didn't look like soda floating in space. And there we go. Uh, play around. I'd like to see what you guys come up with, and if you have any questions, of course, uh, just put them below and join my Facebook page. And that is it for today. See you next time.